Hey y'all, and welcome back to Be Renew's channel where I give crochet innovative solutions for hair loss and thinning hair. Now, let's jump right into this video. I'm gonna be doing another hair topper, but instead of the Crocolon hair that I used in my last video, I'm going to be using my Kiss Curl, the same curl that I use for my Insta bands. And I'm just starting with watering or wetting my hair with water <laughs> so I'm gonna saturate my hair with this water just to activate my hair my hair is freshly washed and conditioned and I want to just activate my curls and so I'm gonna wet it down before I put product on it All right, now that you have your hair all sectioned out for the hair topper, you're gonna to use whatever product you use for your hair to define your curls. Today, I'm using Nairobi Foam Wrap, and I'm just working this product through the back of my hair, through the sides, and then I'm taking my brush and just kind of making sure that all of my hair is saturated with the product so that my curls are nice and curly, and it also gives me that shine so that my hair doesn't look like an afro, so it defines it and it also gives it luster. All right, now I'm just gonna shingle my curls so I'm separating them with my finger, giving them more definition. Now, my idea was I'm going to make all my hair very curly and defined. I'm gonna add a hair topper and then blend the hair topper hair with my hair, right? That's the plan. Later on in the video, you're gonna see that I didn't like how that looked. So for right now, I'm defining my curls and if you're following along, you would do the same thing because you're going to need your curls to be defined in order to blend it with a hair topper. So keep doing this and keep watching.
All right, it's time to add the topper. So again, this is the Kiss Curl, the same curl that I use for my adult Insta bands. Same stretchy material. You get a lot of hair on this topper and it stretches, so you get a lot of room as well. So I'm just showing you, you can wear it to the front. And then today I'm going to wear it kind of off to the side. So I'm showing you guys that just the versatility of the topper itself. So I'm gonna start by sliding these combs in. You get four combs. I'm stretching it down to the back. I want this to look like an asymmetrical like bob on one side. So I stretched it down in the back so that it gives me that shape. So now if you were doing this, you would, you know, start to fix it and place it and blend it until you like the way that it looks. Because you get so much hair, you got a lot to work with. <laughs> Okay, so here is where I decided to lay this part of my hair down. I didn't like what this was giving. It wasn't, I don't like the transition from my hair going off to one side. I need this side to be flat. So I added some Nairobi foam wrap to this side and I decided to wave this side. I also added just a little bit of eco styling gel so that it holds. And so I'm, I'm bringing this down to the back. I want my hair to still have that curly transition because the hair topper itself is curly. So I'm just gonna wave this side and I'll come back. Okay, y'all, I had to do a lot of the blending off camera because I needed to use my mirror and um, it was just giving me the business. So this hair piece has a lot of hair, so you can stretch it. As you can see, I kind of brung it down more in the back to make this bob shape. And then I waved the side. I did not like my hair curly on this side with wearing it um with more length on one side i didn't like how that looked and so what i did was i laid my hair down with some of the foam wrap in the gel and i waved it to get this side and then i blended the curls on this side so my hair is 
tighter than this actual kiss curl. And what I did to blend it to make it look like it's seamless, I took some of the foam wrap and pulled the hair over. And when you're using this foam wrap, you want to hit all of the hair with the foam wrap so that it looks um so it's not dry because the parts that don't get touched with the foam wrap won't look the same as the other parts that will get touched with the foam wrap so you want everything to be um mildly mildly saturated with the foam wrap okay so i'm using nairobi you could easily use the cream of nature foam wrap that i love as well my hair acts the same with both of the foam wrap so it's really just defining the curl and blending your hair that's that's the reason for the foam wrap so i like how this looks i just you know because my hair is very thin right here i'm gonna use some of my filler just to fill those spots in hopefully i can do this on camera with y'all let me see Kind of filling in. I may have to do this off camera because it's not giving me what I want. And kind of tap that in. See how that's kind of filling in a little bit more. I hate to see my scalp. I don't like to look scalpy. So this is like my go-to. You guys have seen this in some of my videos before. Okay, now I was, now I was looking like something. Okay, I'm gonna continue to fill this in off camera and come back and show you guys what it looks like. So I filled her all in. Too cute, right? Super cute. I filled it in with the fibers on the side just to darken up that scalpy look that I hate. And I just want to give you guys a tip. Listen, try to avoid cutting the topper as much as possible because you want to be able to wear it again. You want to be able to switch it to the front, to the other side, and you don't want to have those weird layers in the topper. So what I did to get the shape, I just pulled the hair and I kind of place it how I want the hair to fall. Because his hair is curly and textured, you can get away with not cutting the topper if you, you know, use some teasing techniques or just separate the curls and place them. And so that's what I did to get this angle right here. I did not cut it. I pulled it, I placed it, I patted it into place and she ain't going nowhere. And so when I take this off, and if I want to reposition it and wear the hair all to the front like a TWA, I can do that and I don't have those weird layers in there, okay? So this is my kiss curl. This is the curl that I use for my Insta bands. And I love this curl. I wish it was just a tad bit tighter so that it can really blend in with my hair better. But I mean, I, I did this like... I really did do it. Like it still looks, it looks you good. You're making these yourself and you're not going to be purchasing from me. You can get you a curl that mimics your curl pattern, of course. Okay. So I will be offering these. Uh, it will be the Kiss Curl and the Aria Curl. I will be offering them in the colors that I have available in my Insta bands, the same exact colors. And so if you want to purchase from me, you can purchase them from me. Um, and then of course, you see my last video. If you want to make it yourself, you can also do that super cute for the summer i can work out in this i can tie my hair up and lay my wave side down and i can still sweat and it's still going to 
do what it needs to do because it's curly. So that's what I like about it. You know, in the summertime, I already deal with hot flashes as it is. And so curly, my go-to natural curly hair is what I have to rock in the summertime. And so this gives me some flavor. This gives me some, you know, versatility. And it also gives me length, which I like, okay? And so again, you can switch it up. You can wear it to the front. You can have it all going to the side. You know, it's it's really up to you how you maneuver the hair because you get a lot of hair on this one piece. Okay, so let me give you another 360. What y'all think? Do you like it better with the wave on the side? Would you opt out of the wave? Would you wear your curly hair? I did not like it. I didn't like how... And plus my hair after a while, it turns into like froey looking. And so I'm like, you know, the way I want to see it, I need this side to be flat and then go over. It wasn't, wasn't a nice, you know, balance when you have that puffiness and then you're trying to get this asymmetric, asymmetric look. It just doesn't look good. All right. I love you guys. Be sure to like, be sure to share this and of course, subscribe. I love y'all. Thank you for joining me. Live life with purpose on purpose.